this. We made it to Lander, man. What a drive to get here. Whew. So much snow and it was on a really good weather day too that we made it here. Super grateful. Um, I don't know why I forgot to get the phone out while Gabby was trying to back Nomad into this spot and there was like, you have to go like down a hill, cut, make sure you don't hit down, hit trees and all the snow, but we're here. We're so excited. What? A, this has been great. You know, I love living in an RV. It's, it's so much fun. I really liked when we were in that one. Momo with Victor isn't there. With Victor there, it's a little crowded, but our, our three week trip, um, just me and the four kids, that was, was going to be one of my best memories. So we hit all those indie ski passes. And then when Victor joined us, we had an amazing day at Powder, two amazing days at Powder Mountain. Enjoyed snow basins. All right. Welcome to Snow Basin. We are so excited to ski this mountain. We have wanted to ski it for so long. And you know, it's been really fun to be on some of the smaller indie resorts, mom and pop resorts, parking's close, but Snow Basin kind of is a mix of both. You know, we're here on a Thursday, it's definitely more people than uh, have been at the other resorts we've been to. However, you still get to park really close to the lifts and uh, you have a little bit more amenities, it's bigger lodges, things like that. So that's cool. So I was saying, like we used to, we'll, we'll compare, do we want apples or oranges? Or do we want red or do we want green? And I say both, both is good. I want to ski Icon and Indy because both, both is good. <laughs> Right off the bat, the first thing I'll say is it's a great resort if you are really good. On a powder day, it's probably amazing, but today it's not exactly a powder day. What? It's not exactly a powder day. Yeah, they're, they're confused. They're, they're cracking their head. But um, it's fun. Yeah, if you're really good. Like today, it's a little icy, a lot of traction, so I'd say get in early to, um, yeah, get in there before they're destroyed. Another thing is, the lifts are fast, which helps a lot. Yes, there'll be a lot of people on the mountain and maybe we'll get parking, but especially on, not on the weekends, it's good because of those combining yeah, factors. One, lifts will be really fast. Two, and there won't be that many people. Okay, so we made it to the other side of the mountain or the lateral left side of the mountain to Strawberry, uh, Strawberry Bowl. Express. Gondola. We're on Strawberry Express, Strawberry Gondola, strawberries. We're, we're eating strawberries, supposedly. Um, much better over here. It is great. The main part of the resort is so great. It's a little hard the first day because there's so many runs. They crisscross. You can kind of get lost. You don't really get lost because they all meet up at the same spot anyways. But when you're trying to keep a group this big together, sometimes it's overwhelming. So it's going to be fun to be over here on the strawberry side. It's way less crowded over here. Um, not as bumpy, way more powdery, right? Way more powdery than it's the other side of not like, There's a layer of powder because it snowed a little bit this morning, but then it's so uh, mogly or kind of like the layer of ice underneath. So <sighs> snow basin is pretty amazing. So snow basin isn't only on the icon pass. It's also on the mountain collective. So while we were on the gondola, I was looking, I'm like, hmm, maybe I don't need to do icon. Maybe I'll do mountain collective instead because then I can still get sun valley. different than um, these small indie resorts. Quite honestly, I like both. I want both next year. I'm gonna to try to get an indie and an icon pass because it's really fun to be at the small resorts. But my one complaint is that the lifts are really slow compared to how short 
or not long the runs are. So you get to Snow Basin and it's really cool because there's two gondolas and you can ride up the gondola and stay warm. And then you get this really, really long run all the way to the bottom. So that was that was super fun. Um, I like that the mountains so spread out. It was a little cloudy that day, so we only saw the jagged mountains for a few minutes. But I can imagine that on a clear day, it's gotta be so gorgeous there. So hopefully next year, we'll go there again and get to see all the views. Then we went to Garden City uh, over by Bear Lake. Man, cool little town, but it was dead sleepy town. <laughs> when we were there, uh, we skied Beaver Mountain. So we are at Beaver Mountain. It is not the best snow conditions for all the resorts. I didn't realize how much we had scored on this road trip, but look at Bluebird, beautiful blue skies. Uh, started off the day at like nine degrees, but it's about 20 right now, so we're loving this. Beaver Mountain is different, much different than, uh, we were a little spoiled at Powder Mountain, I think but it's still a great resort. And staying in Bear Lake is really amazing. It's, it's a really cool vibe, cool Airbnb. really fun days. One was a little bit icy and then the second day we got to bring Victor out there and he got reps. He's he's a skier now. He's he skis. We're skier. We're a skiing couple. It's pretty cool. And we I really like that. I love the Airbnb. If you go to Garden City, reach out to me. I'll tell you whose Airbnb we stayed at, but I love that Airbnb. And then we made the drive here. All right, I've never actually watched Mad Max, but I can't help but feel when we travel like this and we're like our own little like Mad Max fleet. It's so much fun to me at least to like have two RVs plus a truck that is a dependable truck to be driving around in and then to bounce between ski resorts and then airbnbs and now we're going to one of our favorite places lander wyoming and we're staying in a rad airbnb for the month i am so excited and obviously you can tell so giddy happy because this is what life should be don't you think it should be fun and exciting and something to look forward to each day
we're, we're here and now we're spending a month in Lander, crazy cold temperatures in the forecast, and then it is on to winter wondergrass. I was starting to think today like, oh my goodness, if there's, I was a little worried about cold temperatures, but if it's like just a sunny bluebird day, it's gonna be so great for in the negative 20s. I'm gonna be like, ah, what are we gonna do? Because it's, that's rough, but I am really excited. I think we're gonna have a great time in our Colorado ski trip. So when we leave here, we'll hit Winter Wondergrass and Steamboat. We're gonna use our Icon Pass to hit a couple resorts uh, in Colorado. Maybe we'll even get that Icon Pass. Um, sometimes they get it, they release it in the spring, and so maybe we'll ski some Colorado resorts. But I look forward to uh, sharing with you why we come to Lander when it's freezing cold like this, all the cool things there are to do in Lander, and um, maybe some other adventures too. Maybe we'll go cross-country skiing, maybe we'll try some snowshoeing. I don't know. I'm just really excited to be in the house and not be freezing. 